true son in the faith. God sent you to me to know more. To know my ways in Christ, to know my life. To hear the words of God from my mouth. Faithful 
look delightful and delighted in God. And uh, we've sung this song on four continents, many nations. And uh, the truth of the one body of Christ is the uh, great reality. Great reality on earth today. Uh, men see things differently than God sees things. But the truth is, is that the body of Christ is the activity of earth. That's it. You know, we have distractions like sporting events and uh, whatever. But spiritually, the activity that is happening on planet earth that is of any real value, and it is of great value, is the body of Christ. Every individual member filled with the Spirit, filled with Christ. So we're going to do this song, and uh, God put it in my heart to, excuse me, I somehow acquired a frog this morning. Anyway, uh, I think it was last night, actually. <laughs> Might have been. Anyway. Actually, it's better. When I woke up, I couldn't speak at all, so. Um, to have this song in native languages, so we've got Spanish, French, German, Hindi, and English. One body in Christ.
because the Spirit of the Lord is full of love and compassion. And uh, the things that have happened here uh, were ordained in eternity to happen. And the hand of God was on the things that were done, the things that were said, the things that were sung, uh, the campfires, the garden parties. Um, so, God's perspective is this joyful family. You know, He yearned for a man, for our relationship with Him. And, uh, To experience these things is really something, isn't it? <laughs> you know? And uh, the practice of the scripture, the practice of the words from God produces this fruit that's just so tangible. <laughs> you know, I ate a lot of joy this weekend. <laughs> and a lot of food, too. <laughs> and we're about to go to lunch in a couple of minutes. <laughs> But love, joy, peace, just, oh, it's so tangible. It's so, uh, a greater reality. So, um, you know, Father has great uh, joy in, in, in working in you. He has great joy. You know, we hear this thing, God has a plan for your life. You know, it's even bigger than that. Your life is so important to him. And the church collective is so important to him. You know? So we have all eaten the fruit, had the benefit, had the joy. I'm fine. I mean, I don't, I don't need a vehicle to get home. We're just. And I'm sure you are too. So just keep it. There's nothing to do, it's something to live. It's something to enjoy. It's something to, uh, you know, see God as a much greater reality, you and Him. And so this plan He has, He reveals it as you go. He reveals it as you go, you know. And so many things are going to open up to your lives. Personally and for uh, giving this to others. We talk about outreach. It's a neat word. I like it. Outreach, you know? We just want to give them. We want to give to them what God has given to us. Right? Free gift. Freely you receive, freely what? Give. So that's our commission. Give what you've been given. You know, just give it out. What you've been given. What a gift this time has been. You know? I was walking over the campfire and I was thinking about our first one here and God reminded me that it was his idea, not my idea. <laughs> not that I was puffed up about it, I really wasn't. It was just like, man, it was cool, we started this thing and it was all going, it was going great. And it was good. And God's like, just remember, that was my idea. <laughs> so, so much to be thankful for. Uh, I really want to, I, I, I could spend a lot of time in the next uh, you know, few minutes thanking everyone that helped, but I would like to especially thank Michael Lindsay and Stacy Hart, who were the camp directors. Big shout out to Tim, our AV guy sound guy. So, I told Sheila I wasn't going to go through a whole list because I would forget people, and then that's not good. <laughs> not that I would forget them, but I just you know, can't keep track of everything. But uh, we just really love you, and we are really thankful that um, we're part of the same family, and that God has even greater things in store for us than we've experienced. And I just wanted to read a verse to you from Ephesians 4. do two verses. <laughs> but we should be steadfast in our love so that in everything we ourselves may grow up in Christ who is the head. And there's only one direction, right? Saying this one direction. We're growing into the head, Christ. You know, translate that practical is that we do what he did. 
We live like he lived. We love like he loved. You know? Do you think Jesus understood John 3, 16 when he spoke of it? I think so. How did he love? You know? So, verse 16, And from him the whole body is fit together, and is knit together in all the joints, according to the gift that is given by measure to each member, for the growth of the body that is building up would be accomplished in love. Word over the world is Ephesians 4, 16. The building up of the body of Christ in love. Every joint, every member, see? Every joint, every member, that the building would be accomplished in love. You know, there's a lot of analogies. There's the building of the house, there's the planting, the harvest of them. The truth, the practical truth is God's family. Men and women filled with the Spirit of God Know, collectively one. We are one body in Christ. We are one. So wherever you go, God goes with you. And this body has been uh, effectively, very effectively built up. See, I know you were built up because I was built up and we're part of the same body. I'm not the same person I was four days ago at all. See, you're not the same person. We're not the same church. We got built up. See, so freely, freely, oh, really freely, freely you what receive. Now what? Now what can we do? Now we can what? Freely give. You have something to give. You have something to give. Wonderful. So I'd like to close with prayer. And uh, Michael, why don't you come up uh, after I pray and let him know a few, a couple of practical things because I don't remember what you told me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to ask Joey. Joey McGarry, will you please stand and pray and just close out the festival, brother? Heavenly Father, awesome God of all creation, Heavens and earth, God, we are so thankful to you that you have placed Christ within us and that we can, with humbleness of mind and meekness of heart, receive your words that are proceeding out of your mouth, down into the very depth of our being, and we can release your words and your actions into the rest of this world, wherever we are placed. You have placed this in this box.
He has seated us in the heavenlies. We are His, and He is ours. He's our God who reigneth above. He is truth, He is peace, He is love. He is good, He is light, He is just, He is might. We are His and He is ours. He is ours, we are His, and He 